Hi, everybody. So today I'm going to have a special treat for you. I'm going to introduce you to a service I have just built out, built out that I call Blander AI. What exactly is Blander AI? Getting to the very heart of it, it is AI voice calling, essentially an AI receptionist, voice-based receptionist for $0 per minute. I am beating every AI platform in existence with the pricing on this. It's zero cents per minute, zero dollars and zero cents. And uh, I'll walk you through exactly how to do this yourself, how to set it up, how exactly it works. Uh, it's pretty easy to uh, set up overall and get started with Blander AI. Uh, and then, so first of all, um, why uh, am I doing it, pointing this out? Right. So like to me, the bit, like I deal with a lot of conversations, uh, generally speaking with like investors and or clients, right. Our potential clients. Those are the two big ones. And, uh, they always ask me upfront, like, why do I like building out things on my own as opposed to like, why wouldn't they, or why couldn't they, or why shouldn't they just like, uh, slap in an app or like one of these things into their systems. Right. And then, so to me, the bottom line within that is there's a few reasons. Uh, the first is, is that app is never plug and play. Right? It's never uh, exactly how it goes. There's always set up. You're learning the app more than anything else. So then you're learning an ecosystem as opposed to uh, a programming language or whatever else the case may be. Right. So to me, it's just more straightforward that way overall. Number two is, uh, is and getting to the uh, heart of it within this is that you don't have any sort of like customizability or controllability within that. Uh, and then the third thing and the most important thing <laughs> probably to me when it comes to AI within this is that uh, all of these apps are all wrappers. Every single one of them is in existence. Any of these companies, they are all wrappers. They're all based off of these same underlying technology, the same engines, they're just slapping multiple engines together and then putting a pr pretty wrapper and a pretty bow on that. And that's important for some people, right? Because some people don't know how to get into the back ends and, and uh, do a little bit of code <laughs> in order to set these things up, right? Those platforms are all no code platforms for that reason. Uh, if you're willing to dive into code just a little tiny bit, uh, you can cut your costs down. So like the, the cheapest uh, platform that I've seen uh, in existence currently is nine cents per minute. Uh, and I won't say their particular name, but uh, it's uh, that's what I've seen. Uh, and then overall, um, and uh, here, that's the cheapest app based, right? Generally speaking, there's people charging between like 50 cents up to like a dollar 50 per minute for all of the same stuff. It's all the same thing when it comes to this. And then so I'm going to show you and demonstrate that for you very simplistically. I built this in like an hour uh, overall, right? Uh, and then so uh, let's get into it. Let me show you, first of all, just a, a quick demo here, right? So let me go ahead and just uh, reload this page here. This is a quick landing page that I put to house this demo, basically. So you can see there's an incoming call. I'm going to accept the call. Thank you for calling Nexus Innovations. My name is Alex. Who am I speaking with today? Hi, Alex. My name is Richard. How are you? And what company are you with, Richard? Also, what is the reason for your call today? Uh, I'm testing out uh, AI receptionist services, and I'm with uh, AI Receptionist Incorporated. Thank you, Richard. I have your message and will ensure it gets to our IT department right away. So thank you very much for your time. You're welcome, Richard. Have a great day. Cool. So there it is, just demonstrated for you. This is uh, uh, like, uh, so pretend that this is a phone call, right? And I'll demonstrate for you and I'll give you the full code so that you can actually make this uh, like and, and actually tie it into a phone, like you have it call your phone, do whatever you want to do, call other people, have it take incoming calls, etc. But so here it is right here. And then so this voice right here, this is all running on, on um, Google Gemini and it's their free service, right? So then within that, I get uh, 37 hours per month is what it all taught, like, tallies up to as far as the, the free plan. If you go over that, uh, it becomes like fractions of a penny per minute uh, is what happens. At, like it's, I mean, that's why I'm going with the the Gemini service and the, the Google service back in this, like as the back end of this overall, it's the way that I can uh, give it for free and build it out for free, right? Uh, and so uh, here it is. So if you don't like the voices, they do offer like uh, ex like like uh, different tiers as far as their pricing uh, for 
um, different out, like voice outputs. And I think it's like uh, 50 cents per minute is the cheapest one. Uh, and then uh, for flash native audio, for like good audio, uh, and then $2 per minute. It gets expensive or $12 per minute on the uh, per million tokens on the audio, which so it does get like higher price on the audio. And then that's per million tokens, right? Like not per minute. So <laughs> like, uh, the, like uh, let's say that um, model would probably use on average maybe like uh 500 tokens per minute so it's still like i mean it's extremely cheap right but it doesn't break down to like fractions of a penny at that point it breaks down to like kind of a more realistic pricing structure uh below like nine cents per minute still uh is what you'd be looking at there overall though right and then so um here it is essentially the the uh demo that i built out here right and then so how did i build this out like and and how is it built out it's built out via javascript uh and then Building out your own model is a very simplistic. I don't like. Uh, I don't want to just like share the the JavaScript code like a uh, full and out because you have to like input and uh, create like your own uh, API keys and all of that. And then so I'll walk you through essentially what you need to do as far as the project setup here. So the project setup is is pretty straightforward, right? First of all, you need to create all of the HTML in order to handle all of these basic functions, and these are all all of the HTML. HTML elements that you would need to do in order to build it out. Um, I've given it and I've fed it to an LLM model, and you can build out build it out this way uh, with just uh, like a, if you know a, like a tiny bit of JavaScript, and then just utilizing the LLM model, no problem there. Uh, and then from here, you need to uh, set up your Google Cloud and your API setup. So then you want to go to Google Cloud Console, um, and then like uh, which is. Uh, here and then you want to create a new project and then so in my Google Cloud console I already have all of this set up but then so uh, you need to create a project and then you need to enable APIs and services so then you go here and there's two APIs that you need to enable you need to enable the text to speech this one this cloud text to speech API And then it's I have it enabled, so it's see it's so it's just managed. But then if it weren't enabled, you would just hit enable there. Uh, and then the second one that you need, uh, if you ask the LLM model, it's going to give you the wrong name for it. It's like the Gemini API is what you need. This one, yeah. Uh, and then this one here. And then so I, you can see here I have it enabled again. But if I didn't have it enabled. You would just click enable here and then so those are the two ap like you need to create a google cloud api key and give it access to these two uh like uh, apis and then like um that's really all you need to do there uh, in order to uh set that up and then get it ready to go uh you need to enable billing within your project again it's 37 hours per month of uh, of free access so like unless you're going like super crazy with it uh you're not going to go over that then you create your api key uh, and then plug in your API key. And then my recommendation would be that you would create the JavaScript file with your credentials and then hide them and then do, you know, stuff like that within that. Uh, and then here's kind of the JavaScript logic that you could use in order to do that. And then the back end is that you're integrating Gemini text to speech. Uh, and then you're also uh, in utilizing the voice input uh, for speech to text. And then that's kind of just the, the uh, two uh, calls that you're making, right? So you're just making two different API calls to those APIs, which is why we enable those two APIs there. And then that's, I mean, <laughs> really uh, all there is to it as far as the development, right? Uh, so what I showed you and what I'm showcasing to you here is like the JavaScript side development and then like on the, the JavaScript side here. Uh, what I typically do and, and what I typically like to do is showcase to you in Python, right? Because that's what I'm much more familiar with overall. And then so here we go. This is Python AI receptionist with, with Twilio. Uh, and this is everything that you would need to set this up. So what I, I have here on the demo is on, on the website is just a flat out demo of this right showcasing uh that this works people can t play around with it here with the bot sounds like as far as a default uh the voice quality like I, I, i'm sure people's biggest complaints going to be with the voice quality uh you can pay for better voice quality right <laughs> that's kind of how they, they structure it out so uh 37 hours free of this voice uh and then there's a few different voices uh that you can change it to but so uh and then so you go here to configuration and we need our google api keys and then we'll need our twilio keys and our twilio app access within this uh there's no way really like there's no way around this like uh as far as making this live so at some point you're paying twilio right twilio gets money on the back end here uh they do have they do give you like you know a certain amount of free credits and, and things like that but so you can uh 
do that, but there's no way that you can make calls with this system without uh, enabling Twilio. So then you'll you'll do that on the back end, and that's the same with every single system, right? Uh, and then I have this wrapped in a flat app, Flask app, so if you run this locally, it'll give you kind of just a nice little interface when you run it. And, and, and uh, inputs the APIs, calls the model with the system prompt, basically just saying that it's an AI receptionist overall. And then the logic for Twilio, so like for all of the voice responses, like uh, and then you put in phone numbers and the call handling responses and all of that. And that's just all the structure here that I can build out very easily within Python. Um, and then so there you go. And here it is, uh, uh, the full script for like the full uh, model here in Python, uh, and then the demo AI receptionist here um, is to like, uh, like uh, how it works. I'll leave a link to uh, this uh, website here so you can take a look at it overall. Uh, and then just very simplistically, right, boiling it down, these things aren't hard to build out on your own. Uh, hopefully, this gives you like a, at least a, a good direction and a starting point to uh, like get started with these things on your own, right? To me, that's kind of like the, the new barrier to entry within these things just flat out is uh, like all of these apps, again, like I said at the top, they're no code solutions, right? And then so if you can do and you can handle just a bit of code, a bit of what I've gone through here on the back end, you can utilize LM models to walk you through every step of the way as far as the missing parts. I give you the handout here. It gives you all of the instructions, right? You could prompt the model first off with this handout. It'll uh, spit out like the JavaScript code that you would want uh, and what you need to do from there. You can give it like and, and have it structured out the way that you want the bot to be, right? And then uh, however you point it out uh, and just be very straightforward, easy to implement project from there. Uh, and then there it is, right? And then so uh, kind of, again, the, the differentiator is is no code versus just a tiny bit of work on, on your end here. So here it is. Here's the tiny bit of work version <laughs> overall. I'll say to like uh, anybody out there, like if you don't want to take on the, the tiny bit of work version within these things, feel free to reach out. Like to me, it's, it's again, like if you're paying for so around these things, you're overpaying. Like that's the bottom. Line. It doesn't matter what this, what the service is related to AI, right? It could be image generation, uh, text to speech, uh, video, um, like audio. No matter what it is, <laughs> overall, if you're like if you're paying like a monthly subscription, monthly apps outside of like the main providers, you're you're overpaying <laughs> because it's again one hundred percent all of the same technology on the back end, right? Uh, if you want to like compare this to like 11 labs, et cetera, again, like you pay for, if you want to pay for it, you can make it just as good as them. And then the Google pricing on this is cheaper overall. That's why I highlight this over, like that's why I go with Google in these instances. Again, like I'm, I'm Scrooge McDuck overall. So if there's the cheapest way to do these things overall, that's what I'm gonna find. And that's what I'm gonna pinpoint and then pick out. Right? And then so uh, here we are like, uh, it, like to me, I was like, I've been uh, bearish on um, AI voice, AI calling, et cetera. I'm still bearish on it overall, but at zero dollars per minute, there's literally no reason not to implement it at this point overall, right? Uh, not to implement it and then to get it at least like up and running in your in your system environments, it doesn't cost you anything as long as you're not, again, outsourcing and paying those app providers. like. I can't stress this enough when it comes to AI, like the difference between AI and IT very specifically lies in that, right? Like, and as a longtime CTO, like, and, and lots of roles within IT, especially within like purchasing, buying, managing software, et cetera, the number one approach and philosophy of IT is that I want to outsource that program. I want to outsource that software. I don't want my team handling it and dealing with it, right? Just because there's so much of that overall. Whereas AI, it's the exact opposite. You want to have that knowledge internally. <laughs> all, all you need internally to, to uh, build out like your AI systems as much as you would like as a person like me, right? Like uh, flat out, one of me. <laughs> and, and, and then you can do uh, whatever you would like. And one of me can do more than uh, 20 people with apps and it would be a lot cheaper. Right. It's kind of like how that uh, breaks down and, and the logistics of that overall, just uh, kind of highlighting it in those simplistic terms. And then so to me, it's it's building in your 
uh, like the biggest thing that you can do uh, as far as an organization overall flat out when it comes to AI is build in your internal expertise, right? Don't ever outsource the expertise. Don't ever outsource your models, uh, et cetera. Understand exactly and, and build it internally because once you do that, you're building it for free. And then you manage and you understand and you build up that knowledge overall internally, which stacks. Because again, at the bottom line of this is that it's all just a mixture of, of a few different technologies and understanding how those technologies fit and work together, understanding the mathematics and the physics of them, getting deep into that. Once you understand, and again, one person on that on your team internally can spread and disseminate uh, all of that massive amounts of knowledge, right? And that's kind of the, the it's a big difference between AI and IT when it comes to that overall. So uh, here it is overall for you. Uh, everything that you need zero cents per minute to build out your own AI receptionist. Uh, I'll leave a link to all of this in the description of the video. If you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.